What's up, y'all? Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. So today is day three of New York. The past couple days have been, yo. So basically the last couple days here in New York, we've been out all day and it's been straight 95 degrees. Like my chest was sweating like crazy. There was times where we would go out, my chest was sweat. We'd go inside the place with AC. It would dry up, we go out, my chest was, yeah, you, you guys get it, it sounds kind of nasty when I'm saying it. It's like 80 today and there's a slight breeze going, so it's the perfect weather to just relax. So today we are going to head into Manhattan and go to Chinatown and hit the Chinese Museum of History, which is something I've been wanting to go to for so long now. And tickets are actually free because Mackenzie Scott, who is Jeff Bezos' wife, donated like billions of dollars to a bunch of underprivileged organizations and I guess this museum was one of them. So free admission to the Chinese Museum of History. Who can pass that up? So we're gonna head there right now. So we just stopped off Canal real quick to get some food because we didn't have breakfast yet. Nah, this was, I think, seven dollars. Make me want to shed a tear. a bunch of Chinese history that I've never learned before so it's pretty eye-opening especially when learning about the past is literally the key to the present and the future so that's one thing I can say about anyone that's feeling lost in a way and by lost I guess I mean culturally misunderstood or misunderstood in general because I know that as a Chinese American or anyone that's foreign born in America oftentimes we really don't understand ourselves and I can go into a million reasons why we don't understand ourselves but what I can say really quickly is if you want to better understand yourself then you have to go look at the past and Oftentimes that means looking into the past of your people or the past of your ancestors and that will really really give you a clear indicator of who you are because in the past your ancestors went through so many hardships especially in America to get you to where you are today and you have to acknowledge the places they came from and the strength that they gave you in order to be where you are today so that's just me getting really serious for a second but everything I say I really mean it and if I also tell myself three years ago how to feel more understood and how to understand myself better I will give myself the same tip, so I'm giving that to you guys. So right now, we're gonna finish looking at the museum and then go shopping around Soho. See what we can find. We're gonna try to get a little drippy, but for the low. That's the key, for the low. Yo, this is wild. Let the good times roll, bro. They thought they had a banger with that. Chinese food and bowling. Oh my gosh, this is just wild. Oh, he got crazy. That's too long, bro, but I appreciate it. <laughs> this is the Kim and Kanye section. <laughs> But right now we are in Nike. We just made it to Soho. And we're gonna check out a bunch of stores, some designer stores, some stores just to look around and whatnot. Nothing's really catching my eye right now, but I'm actually trying to buy something, but I'm not trying to spend too much money. So we'll see what I end up with at the end of the day. Ask the pedit, ask the pedit. I no. dare you to. <laughs> you ask the I dare you to. <laughs> she husky? She's a Samoyed. You're so, oh, you're so sad. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> So now we're at the real world, which is like a secondhand designer store. So people can consign stuff over here and whatnot. And my sister actually seen Kim K over here before. I was in the dressing room when I came out and I was like, why is nobody there? And then um, I was like, oh, it's because Kim K is here. You should have been in the dressing room to take your pictures. <laughs> Y 
Y'all can't tell me this does not look fly right now. Like, wow, I wish. I, I wish. It fits me perfectly too. I don't even need to go to college. I'm gonna just buy this Gucci trench coat and I'm set. That's, that's all I need for the rest of my life. That's a semester right there. It's 3,900. I think it's worth it. For college, <laughs> not playing. But overall, this store is pretty damn cool and I think it's even cooler that you can see a designer that isn't popping right now. If you went to any of these stores, Gucci, Dior, you would see all those things that rappers are wearing right now with the big logos and whatnot. But this, you can actually see designer from different generations and different time periods. I'm not the biggest expert in designer, but I think it's still pretty cool real, you to can see. Go both ways. <laughs> I wish I could get it. <laughs> Her ears are muscle muscular. <laughs> All right, so right now we are at a restaurant called Ruby's. We just left Soho. I ended up going to Montclair, trying a couple things on there, but ultimately I did not buy anything, which is kind of a win because if I did, it probably would have been really overpriced. Right now we're at this Australian restaurant. I don't really know what makes food culturally Australian, but I'm gonna get some pasta. They got veggie my toast though, so I guess that's Australian enough, if anything. Right now it's 5.47, so we're gonna eat and then leave Manhattan, head back to Brooklyn and go to my sister's spot where we're just gonna chill and enjoy the rest of our day. So we just got back to my favorite part of Brooklyn. I mean, it's only my favorite part because this is the part that I first went to the first time I ever met to New York. So it just has like a nostalgic feel to me, but also the neighborhood is just super chill and there's a bunch of good food in this area. And we get to go see Mimi. Hey Mimi. Hey buddy. <laughs> yeah, bye. All right, so we just left my sister's house and we ended up watching Kung Fu Panda. You know, for the culture. I feel like I said that a couple times today for sure. But the past couple of days, I've been walking by like three or four Berea trucks. Every single time I've wanted one, but it just wasn't the right time. And today, it was meant to be. This is literally just popped up right here. It's not really popping right now. This isn't really a prime location for to have a truck, a food truck, especially right now when it's like 10.30 because all the drunk people aren't even out right now. So it's meant to be. I'm meant to eat these Berea tacos, so I'm gonna enjoy them. Appreciate it. Thank Have a great night. night. Yo, this was meant to be because I asked him for the consume. He said it comes separately. But my man's blessed. Yo, go grab that, go grab that. Alright, so fast forward a couple hours, it's 1.17 in the morning now. The one thing from today I really want to reiterate is the fact that history always repeats itself. If you want to better understand yourself, if you want to better understand the world around you, all you have to do is look at the past and you'll definitely see indicators for the present and the future. But on that note, I want you guys to hit the like button for me and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because this was the conclusion to day three of New York. And definitely make sure to turn the post notifications on right now so you guys don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace.